Red Sox Game Day Live presented by DCU. Tom Carrick joined by Red Sox President and CEO Larry Lucchino. You and I were just looking down the yeah. street. And every now and then you sit here and you kind of remember how cool this all is. It really is. There's something special about day games. There's something special about weekday day games. Certainly something special about it all happening in the sun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and after the winter we had, yeah, exactly. we thank you yeah, for getting yeah. the weather lined up. Yeah. For this homestand, there seems to be not just the six o'clock games you've put in there, but more Dave games overall. Saturday day games has that been a concerted effort by the team? We have made an effort. Again, it's consistent with the calling all kids effort. Uh, the the six o five starts, I think, help uh, in the, in that regard. Certainly, some of the afternoon games on uh, on the weekends uh, will help. Even the four or five uh, starts. Uh, will help in that regard and we try to do what our fans like and uh, what they think kids can uh, fit into their schedule and uh, so far so good uh driving in today hard not to think about two years ago today the anniversary of the boston marathon bombing the weather was very similar it was a beautiful day yeah. on that patriots day uh you will take part as a team uh in the moment of silence uh, honoring the anniversary on one boston day talk a little about what the organization has done to try to be part of that uh, ceremony and honoring what happened two years ago? Well, the, at the, the pregame ceremony will will uh, include a, uh, a first pitch thrown up by uh, Jeff Bauman, who I think everyone uh, remembers, Carlos Arredondo, and uh, uh, a few of the other uh, uh, victims will be involved in all, uh, also in a, the play ball uh, component of the pregame show. So uh, the, Mayor Walsh has made it, uh, uh, a determination that this one Boston day should be uh, remembered uh, forever and that uh, anything we can do to reinforce that message uh, we will do and uh, including the moment of silence at, uh, uh, this afternoon. You also yesterday honored a man who, who literally gave his adult life to the organization, Dick Bresciani. Yeah. I said yesterday, you made a friend with Dick Bresciani, you've made a friend for life. Exactly and, right. and many of us were blessed uh, to make that friendship. Talk a little about the decision to go in and why the press box was the right dedication. Well, for Dick, Dick worked for 43 years for the Red Sox, and he didn't uh, just work during work hours. He worked in the evenings. He never missed baseball games. He was an extraordinary dedicated guy who loved, and I mean loved, the Red Sox. Uh, when we came here in 2002, we recognized that there was a long history, and uh, there are certain people on whose shoulders we were standing, and Dick Bresciani was one of them. We were lucky to have him and uh, work with us for 13-plus uh, years, and, uh, and he, he was the institutional memory uh, of this place. He was, uh, he, as, you, as you said, he was a, a, a friend, uh, a mentor, an uncle, uh, to so many, uh, so many people, uh, it was fitting to name the press box after him. He spent so much of his own time working to get Jim Rice in the Hall of Fame, and I always thought that was the the perfect window into who Bresh was. You know, he didn't. There was no personal yeah. goal there. He just thought Jim Rice wasn't getting enough respect, and he put out that dossier every year yeah. to make sure everyone knew what Jim. I mean, that was it was the a great moment. You're game. exactly right. It was a great moment when it happened because. Uh, uh, Jim and all of us were appreciative of the special efforts that were made by uh, by Bresh. Okay, a couple quick things. Uh, got, we showed Concourse K a couple days ago, and yes. you, you talked about the kids off the top. What's the idea behind having a, a kids entrance here at the ballpark? Well, it's just to emphasize the uh, the, the the entire set of activities we're we're putting on display for 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 uh, our younger fans. Calling all kids is a is not just a slogan. It's a it's a uh, important. Uh, uh, organizational theme for all of us and uh, having a dedicated kids gate struck us as a way to say that there's something special about you guys when you come into the ballpark having a dedicated kids concourse having a Wally clubhouse giving free tickets to kids having free membership in the fan club uh, nine dollar tickets for students there's just a it's it's all, all part of a larger effort to uh, to tell children how much they are welcome in Fenway Park and to make their their visit here as uh, as comfortable and as uh, as fun as possible. And just to cap it off, Larry Lucchino will be at Gate D later signing excuse slips for kids who need to give them to their teachers tomorrow because uh, if this is an excuse to miss one day of school in April, I don't know what it is. Larry, thanks for coming out. Thank you, Tom. Thanks right. very much.